Hi everybody, Jo here again. Thanks so much for popping in. As always, lovely to spend time with you and I'm very grateful that you do come and spend time with me. You know, we're so lucky here at Lavinia that we've got such a lovely family and we've got so many friends and, and followers and we, we do genuinely love to just come and... Um, craft with you I nearly said chat because I'm afraid that's what I do isn't it I know I talk a lot anyway that's me um so today I'm coming in and answering um I get lots asked lots of questions and I try and answer them as best as I can and as often as I can and make a video around it and I keep being asked, what's the best size card to do? And quite often when I make a design, I get ladies saying, oh, can you make a smaller one or can you make a larger one? So today I thought I'd just come in and show you um, the designs, a lot of them, obviously not all of them, I'm not going to say all, but a lot can either be scaled up or scaled down. So I've got this lovely design here and I've got to be honest, I was out at the weekend, um, I've been at Lavinia HQ recently and the Bluebells, Carl and I and Eric went for a lovely walk in the countryside around Rithin and the Bluebells are just gorgeous. So that inspired me to use the stamps. But what I thought I'd show you is, so first of all, this is a design and this one is on a 7 inch by 7 inch to go on an 8 by 8 card blank. And as you can see, we've got lots of white space, which I love. And also our um, Woodland Sprite, she's a beautiful big stamp. But also I wanted to show you how the same design, and I've used all the same feature stamps. Obviously, we've got less white space, but this is actually on an A6 piece of card. And, and for me, I think they're both equally as gorgeous. And so it, it's just really to show you that, like I say, she's such a lovely big stamp. I mean, look at this, sizable stamp, but we can still use it on an A6 card. And I know a lot of you recently have been saying that you are moving towards smaller cards in general. And, and I can understand that, especially with postage and things going up. Now, so I'm going to get a piece. I thought I'd got, oh, I have. So this is from the pack. So it's multifarious card um, and it's one of the A6. So I'm just going to file that on the floor there next to Eric. And I'm just going to go round it and put a black edge round. As you know, I have to do this at the beginning because if I don't, Murphy's Law says, or somebody's, and Imp's Law says, it's going to whiz right across. You could. This is just to save me matting and layering onto black card. But you could just as easily mat and layer this onto black card or maybe a deep blue would look nice. But again, I'm just being a bit thrifty and thinking of postage and weight. And... So that's that done and we'll get rid of that. And what we'll do is we'll come in with stamping first. And as I say, our beautiful woodland sprite. Now, you could put her right in the middle if you wanted, look. But I just want to sort of have her looking up. So she's on my block ready and I'm going to come in with the nocturne, the black. Now, I'm afraid as I'm recording this today, we've had storms overnight and it's very dark and wet here. So if the light doesn't look very good, again, all I can do is apologise. I seem to be doing that a lot these days. It's just the light here is atrocious. I don't know about you, but I find when the light's bad like this, I end up with a headache. And I'm sure it's just that our eyes are trying to, to see as best we can. I'm just going to angle her slightly and pop her there. Now, again, she's a sizable stamp. She's a silhouette. So I'm just going to let that ink soak into the card. I'm always keeping one hand on the block at all times but just moving the other around. And for me, I find it better to leave the stamp. Now, if you're one of these really clever people that, and, and some crafters can, you literally pop the stamp down, pick it up and it stamps beautifully. Unfortunately, they don't behave like that for me. So for me, I've learned over the years, especially the larger stamps and the silhouettes, I need to really let that ink 
soaking if I want a beautiful image like that. But again, that's that's just me. And I thought we'd team her up with the beautiful English bluebell. Again, she's on her bluebell or harebells. Must admit, I don't know the difference. I must look that up between a bluebell and a harebell. And also, um, a lady did message me and tell me about Spanish bluebells. So, it is amazing, isn't it, how we can have so, you know, crafting. You can learn other things from it. And I'm just thinking, I'm just going to pop that little one there. Just coming in, you know, just to keep that nice shape. I like that in that bottom corner. Now, what I want to do at the top is I'm hanging one of these and this is from the fairy charms and I think that's like a bluebell don't you the others are definitely hearts and I don't often use this one but on the end piece look because I'm going to introduce blue I thought I'd actually make the bell part blue so I've got my lovely verse fine Claire paradise and what I'm going to do is she says ink up the stem the lovely hanging bit in black and then come in with the blue ink and just catch the bell now i think i may have just caught the end of that but i don't mind and i'm just going to turn this sideways just because for me it's easier and i think she's possibly looking about i'm going to put it there lovely and I love that I think it's just the two colours now obviously because we've got the blue there we need some blue stamping down here so I'm just going to come in with my field grass and the same paradise ink and I don't want to overcook this I just want it to be a nice amount so I'm thinking possibly a bit of second and third generation Maybe just ink it up once more. And maybe one there and then a little bit there. Yeah, I don't want any more. Oh, just there, I think. Just as a bit of... Yeah, that's enough. Again, I don't want to, to overcook it. Now, for me, when I was creating this, I just thought it looked a wee bit bare at the top. Do you agree? You know, when you look. So, from my recent workshop, the maple leaf stamp was on my desk. And I thought, oh, yes, I used the acetate. Remember, your acetate's fabulous. And I just thought, if we just... It's almost got a gap there, look. And I thought, yeah, I like that. Always use your acetate. You know, the number of times I used to stamp things and then think, oh. Dear, wish I'd not done that. And I'd give myself a telling off, you know, like we do. Or is that just me? I'm sure you do the same. So I'm just going to pop this. And again, if you're not sure it, whether you need to add anything, I would take a photograph of it at this stage and then add your beautiful leaves. I think I'm just going to come in there and then take another photograph and compare the two. And I think that just gives it in, in that corner, it balances it beautifully. And it just looks that lovely cohesive design, which is what we're after. So we're just going to give that a blot. Again, you versify and clear, slower drying ink. So try and get in the habit of blotting. And as I say, when you think... This is on a, a smaller piece of card, but we've got all the elements that we want. Now, you could leave it at this stage. And again, if you're happy and just want to add some colour, by all means. But I just fancy a bit of stenciling in the background. I'm really into using my stencils at the minute. I'm trying to get everybody to up the use of the stencils. Now, this one is called Flurry. And I just thought with it having the leaves in, and we're going to come in with Blue Lagoon. And I'm using the larger of my stencil brush. I think these work well with the, the stencils. So I'm just blending the ink on my stencil brush before I start. And then I'm just going to take my time. I almost want a leaf here, look, so it sort of floats up. 
but I want to make sure I haven't got, there's nothing worse than stenciling away and going over and having a line. I mean, I'm sure you've all done that, I have. And once you've done it, you think, right, I'm not going to do that again. So I think that leaf there looks nice. And again, we're fully enclosed. And the idea is I'm going to start down here, so I'll get a darker colour and then work my way up. So I'm just going to hold the stencil. And remember, tickle. If you're one of those ladies or gentlemen who's heavy-handed, and you know what, you know who you are, and it's not your fault, you know, we all have these things. Some of us are very light-handed, some are very heavy. You know, it's a bit like sleepers, isn't it? Some of us are heavy sleepers, some of us are very light sleepers. And I'm laughing because if ever we watch, um, you know, a film or a drama and somebody creeps into the bedroom or creeps out, Carl always says, well, I couldn't do that or nobody could do that because I'm such a light sleeper. But I think it's years of when Mike used to be poorly, when he used to have seizures in his sleep and I was always on alert, ready in case I needed to run in and look after him. But I'm still the same. The slightest thing, I hear everything. Oh, that's lovely. I'm just going to come in, slightly darken that corner and then just darken the bottom here. So again, it's worth having that nice light touch, tickle your stencil, lift it up and have a look. And then if you need a little bit more, you can bring it in. But I think that I'm really happy with that. And it's just enough for me. It brings the design together, as I say, fills that space, but it doesn't overpower. That's my theory anyway. Now I'm going to add a little bit of colour. And I'm coming in with my Posca. Now, for me, my nib on my Posca, I can't get a fine line. So what I'm going to do is just bring my Wink of Stella in. So this is my normal Wink of Stella, the clear, but I'm going to pick up a little bit of the Posca and I just want to add the colour to her wings look. And for me, I find it easier to paint it on with my Wink of Stella and I can pick a little bit more up, look. And don't worry, it won't ruin your Wink of Stella brush because once that blue... Once you've used the, the blue, the Posca up, it will go back to just being your normal clear Wink of Stella. So I'm just going to add a bit round her headdress here. And come right down with that one. And you can see now we're more or less to the clear. If you're unsure, get yourself a bit of copy of paper and just clean that little bit off, look. But as you can see, it's gone back clear. But it's just a little tip. I know a, a lot of ladies and gents ask what size Posca to get, but it's a way, if you've got a Posca with a big nib, just use your Wink of Stella to pick the colour up. And then I think what we'll do is we'll just come in with our lovely... So I've got the, the pastel pencils. If I just open the tin, I'm just going to get the white and I'm just going to come in and add a little bit. I don't want to, again, I don't want to overdo this. Just add a little bit of shape look on her arm, on her tummy. Just catch her leg and then, and I'm sorry if my head's in the way. And I just, I don't want to overdo it, but just... I just think on the, the bluebells, look, it breaks that black up and just adds. Now, right, put that back in the tin in a minute. Now, again, just a nice gentle brush. There we go. I'll just smudge it and it'll just, we don't need to set it because it's such a small amount. So, finishing touches time. I'm going to add some splats with my, the same blue sparkle poster. Now, it might be you want to add some white ones as well, or maybe white instead. Oh, I know. Let me just come in and add just, yep, yeah, there we go. Just a little bit of highlight on the bell. So, just around. And I love this because they're sparkly. Around the bell, and I really want to miss my woodland sprite. So, I'm hopefully going around the foliage down here. And I'm just directing the nozzle and I'm just tapping it gently with my brush. Don't need to be violent. Just one more up there. There we go. Stop. 
and I'm just going to give this a wipe in case there's any stray Posca. You know what we're like, it gets everywhere. If you're not careful, you end up wearing it, don't you? Now, sentiment stickers. And I'm going to put the white just down here. And I'm going for, and are you impressed that's so quick? I, I did choose it before, I've got to be honest. You know what I'm like, it normally takes me ages, doesn't it? And I'm sure you're the same, believe in yourself. Because, you know, I've been teaching a lot of workshops recently, which I love, but the number of crafters who have no confidence in themselves. And literally, I mean, the other weekend at Lavinia HQ, um, the ladies did the most amazing pieces of work, beautiful pieces of artwork. And they kept, oh, is, is this all right? And, oh, you know, oh, and they were just beautiful. And I do think it's something we all need to do more, and that's believe in ourselves. So this is for a special friend who really needs to believe in herself. And there you go. Now, we've got different stamps that you could use. Maybe change the colour up a little bit. But have you got bluebells? Now, I know we've got a lot of friends in Australia. What do you have instead of bluebells? Our bluebells come up sort of April, May, and a lot of them are in woodland. And they're just like carpets of blue. Beautiful. But I'd be interested to know. So leave me a little comment and let me know. So there's our A6 piece. And I'll bring in as well the larger, the one that's on a 7x7. Seven seven. Look, we've got a trio of woodland sprites. <laughs> oh, do you know, I bet they could get up to some mischief, couldn't they? A trio of them together. I bet they'd have fun. So thanks for popping in. As always, lovely to spend time with you. And I'd love you to have a go at a design similar to this. Now, are you going to go for the larger or are you going smaller? Or maybe could you get it on a piece even smaller? You see, choices, choices would look lovely on a tag. Just saying. You take care. And guess what? I'll see you again tomorrow. Love and hugs from me. Bye for now.